Material Properties, Bump Map. Let's go and create a material. We're going to choose a mud box material. And I'm going to give it this called a name called a bump. And ah, I didn't mean to do that. I'm trying to. I'm going to close this. Now I'm going to assign that material. So I'm going to assign that material bump. So now I'm going to come down in here and I'm going to paint on here. I go to pick point and I'm going to have my now this will be a, a bump you know bump tool I'll name it. But I don't want to do it on diffuse. Diffuse is the base color. So I want to go down here and change it to a bump map. And I'm going to say OK. Now I'm going to come across and I'm going to paint some bump or some relief in here. All right. Now, if I come over here into my object list and I choose on my material bump, I'm going to go and right click and say properties and bring this up on the screen here and pull it down. And you can see if I come down in here into my bump depth, I can change my depth of my bumps by sliding it over. Okay. So it looks like I have a deeper bump. I can also go with the bump filter width and this smooths it out as you get larger than one and down uh, less than one it makes it sh sharper. All right. So values less than one make them sharper, greater than one make them smoother. All right. Now if I want to come in here right now there is no bump map. I kind of drew it in. If I come and click on this button here takes me out to textures. I can put in a different kind of bump map. Perhaps I can come in here and put in a checker bump map. And you can see now I have a checker bump map in there. And uh, I'm going to come over here and spin. And you can see you can see here that my bump depths can change. Right? And sharper or smoother bumps. Okay? I'm going to change to go into just like a noise or a stone. Let's go to stone. All right. And so I can have the stone. I can lower my bump depth to just a small amount. And I can make it sharper or softer. Remember, below one is sharper, above one is softer. Okay. So right now we are applying this material bump on here. And we're using, in this case, a bump map. And so down here in this bump map, we click on this button. We can choose any bump map that we have in these textures. Now these are grayscale values. All right, so when, if we use a different one out of these, they have to be of grayscale. Okay, so these are bump maps in uh, materials in Autodesk Mudbox.